Hello friend, our topic of the day for my daily video is current favorites. I'm Pat Sloan. I'm going to do current favorites and then sort of a roundup of some things, some stuff I've been meaning to tell you that just never told you. Like, why do I have that owl? <laughs> and why do I have this? So anyways, that's today. And I have a Q&A, so I have uh, something to answer. Okay, first of all, the current favorites. What I want you to do is tell me what your current favorite tool is. Some sort of uh, device that you're using that's helping you with your quilting like right now, with, with helping with what you're making. It could be something you use all the time. Maybe it's a pair of scissors or snips or a thread cutter, um, a particular ruler you use all the time, your mat. Uh, but you could be working on a project that you're using some sort of specialty tool. Maybe you're doing some paper piecing and you found something that helps you rip the paper off easy or uh, some other sort of maybe applique thing or embroidery that you've got a neat nifty tool. So I'd love to hear about it. Tell me about the tools. Put it over in the Facebook group. You share a picture of your tool because we all want to know what works for you. Because if it works for you, it might work for us. It may not, but it might and we want to know about it. <laughs> we do, we do. Okay, so I have, um, since I'm not, my favorite tool actually right now is for my hands. So I'm gonna show it to you. It is the putty. So if you've ever had to do any kind of hand therapy, I guess is just for hand therapy, there's this putty and it's stretchy and it sort of um, morphs into everything like, when the uh, occupational therapist gave this to me, she must have pulled this lump from like a giant tub and she stuck it in a Ziploc bag. And then she said, when you get it home, put it, put it in a container because it just sort of spreads out and fills whatever the space is. <laughs> And when one of our friends sent me another one here on, uh, from, the, from online, all of our online friends. And so I have a second one too. But this is, um, I can't use it, I have to take these off to use it. So I'm just touching it with my fingers. But I do things with my fingers, with my hands, I pull it. Uh, all this is for strength training. So I need the strength, I tell you. I am like amazed at how little strength you have when you do not use your limbs for even a few weeks. Uh, it's amazing. So it makes me realize I need to get up and walk too because my legs are limbs and they need to be walked more. <laughs> Maybe my butt too. That's <laughs> okay, I digress. <laughs> So I want to show you a few things that people sent me because you're just so awesome and you're so sweet. And I'm going to end up with something, show you something my mom sent just was as a surprise, a card. Okay, so here are, first let me just show you these cards. Uh, they came in because I can't write to everybody. So we had some wonderful cards came in and this was, uh, this is from our friend Linda and Linda sent me, whoops. Look at Barbie, Barbie fabric. Isn't that awesome? I just love it. Years ago, I did a sew along, which I have to put back online. So those of you who are asking, it is not there right now because I have work on it that has to be done. It was in very old software, but it was called Where's Your Susan Socks? I need to bring that one back. And also is our friend Carol sent me these cute things that she was made using all of her different stitches. Look at that. Look at all her different stitches. And then she made this bigger one. And that is actually my fabric here, this one. So, and she was using her stitches. And I just think it is so wonderful and sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lots of you made your own cards, like the sloth with the little cast on. Look at this. Look at this. The sloth with the cast on it. And that's from Debbie. Um, whoop. And then this is a piece of old uh, quilting, you know, like a, a piece of a quilt. So cool. So I've got a couple more here to show you. Uh, <laughs> I got, this one would just sort of, you know, sometimes things just go like, oh, how do they know? How do they know? And this, this is, uh, came from our friend Kathleen. Uh, and Kathleen said, it's just wonderful. The saying is the healing power of the smiley face. And this is something I didn't even tell Kathleen when I wrote her back, but 
Uh, when I was in high school, the smiley face was super big uh, and it was on everything. And I had a t-shirt with these black t-shirt with these multicolored smiley faces all around the front. So apparently I like to wear t-shirts with things on them. Uh, and the smiley faces were like a plastic even. I know. <laughs> It was the 70s and uh, and so this just hit home and everything about it just spoke to me like crazy uh, and she sent along a notebook which just sounds like me doesn't it yeah big dream big set goals and take action yeah I am one of those and I think you should be too it's like don't just you know don't just dream big don't just set those goals you've got to do that last thing you've got to do it you've got to do the work you can't phone it in you got to do the work so uh, that is just perfect. I love it. I always have uh, little notebooks over by my computer, so I'm going to put that over there to to keep it with me. And then to show you what my mom sent, because I um, I had no idea she was sending me another card. I mean, my mom sent flowers, and you know she calls me every few days to see how it's going. She's just been my rock. But here it's uh, she doesn't make cards, so she bought this. <laughs> it's got a love pop. So watch. Just go wee. There it is. <laughs> All there's a pop-up of hearts. <laughs> so I've had it sitting over over there to see it. It's like having a bouquet of flowers. You know, I've just had it sitting so I could see it over over there. Okay, if you did not, oh, let me just no, no, before I do it, before I do that, let me do let me do a few other things. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. One more, one more present that came that is truly amazing. Quinan sent this, and I may not have pronounced your name properly, Quinan, but I, I hope it's, uh, it's close. But she sent me a guard for my cross stitch frame. She wrote and asked, you know, what size is your cross stitch frame? She goes, I think it looks like a 12 or whatever size. And uh, she was right. Uh, but look, this is a frame that she made or a cover. Like it looks a lot like, um, like a wheel cover, um, but she made it and it goes around the edge as a um, soil guard so that you know because even though there's plastic on here you're you're touching a lot of things and it also keeps the back tidy so it keeps that stuff in there so uh, this is just as there it goes so awesome thank you thank you thank you uh, i didn't even know they made these i didn't even know they existed so this was been great and i put it in this is fitting in my plastic bag here so i can keep track of things um, and yesterday when I was talking about the macaroon holder, if you missed yesterday, it was, it's the little holder like this. Uh, several people said um, that you could put a thimble in here and a needle like a little, on a little piece of wool felt, you know, just put like a little needle and thimble in here. That would be fantastic. So back when I can start hand work again, uh, which I think I'm going to try soon again, um, the fingers they wear out quickly so you know i can only do so much and right now i'm using a lot of that so much is typing uh, things so speaking of that speaking of typing i had a couple of little oops on the uh, typos and left things in you know on the last two patterns the out west and the um, the block nine of going on the picnic both had uh, little things they didn't have anything to do with your cutting or anything like that it's just like I left a page in from another project because I was copying and pasting to re to reuse things that I had already written up so I didn't have to write it up again and I left in a layout which I took out and there's a highlighted yellow underneath the download so if you you know I tell you exactly what time I switched it over and none of them are things that have to do anything to do with your cutting. It's just, you know, numbering stuff. So, uh, well, actually, out west, it, I had it a little, I had uh, something that was too big. <laughs> so you, it was not the, but, but that's fixed too. So and that was fixed early on. Anyway, sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, right now, it's a, it's a bit to do everything. So if you just sort of give me some grace that, you know, I'll, I'll get it fixed. And like, I can't even do the one from yesterday. Greg has to do that. So anyways, we got that done. Got it done. Okay, a couple things that I have had in the background, like the owl. When I got the owl fabric the other day from one of our friends online as a gift, it was so sweet. And I, that made me remember how much I love owls. And it remem made me remember that a couple years ago, <laughs> and it wasn't this one, but a couple years ago, there was an owl cookie jar at Target. 
and it was around Valentine's Day and it was red and it was super cute and I did one of those I don't really need that it's it was kind of big you know it was it was a cookie jar so you know you know it's not gonna be tiny uh, and I was like no 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 I didn't get it and then of course I every so often and I think that was maybe I don't know if it was 2019, it might have been in 2019, but I would every so often go on eBay and look for it and think, oh, maybe I'll just order it because it's never going to be that much more expensive than if I had just bought it. And if I still want it, then maybe I'll just go ahead and order it. And I never did, never did, never did. So when this owl fabric came, I thought, I am going to go and get that. I'm going to go get that since I still keep thinking about it. So what I do is, whoops is I have to say, to search, I just do owl cookie jar red, because it was red. And what came up in the search this time was this baby. And they had this, uh, this, this was not the one, but they, this came up and there was, there's one without a bird on its head, but the, it looked a little stitching around its wing on the bird. But when this came up, I was like, Oh no, I must have this. So it is, it is a cookie jar, but I am going to uh, just use it for decoration in the winter, you know, because of his cute little scarf. And he just came the other day, so that's why he's been sitting in the background there. And I, I just kept forgetting to tell you about him. <laughs> so, uh, so I just, I searched it on eBay, just search owl cookie jar red. Uh, and you will get some then there's actually a few antique ones that are pretty cute but I decided that when I saw him with the little bird on his head I had to have him okay the other thing people keep asking me about is why do I have these one person even asked do I send them back to the company no they do not take returns you can recycle these if you want or you, or you can use them to put um, ribbons wrap ribbons or binding around them oh that's too heavy I can't hold that um, but what I am going to do with this is just see how many spools I use this year. So like here's a little spool and here's the big spools. How many am I emptying? And I'm going through and I am, I don't, I don't know if this is called cheating. I don't consider it cheating, but I'm finding spools that are not full and you wind in using them off, you know, like putting them off so that I can get rid of them in my space. So this is because I got waylaid here with the hands breaking, breaking both the wrists in case you didn't know. Um, this is all I got so far. Uh, but I'm working through some. Uh, okay. And these, these are compression gloves. As several of you have written to ask me about the compression gloves. Where can you get them? So I have a link below. Uh, here are the compression gloves that I'm wearing. These are isotoners. I, this is my second pair. I've, I've got to go and wash the first pair really good now because I've, you know, been wearing them a lot and they need washed again. And I just thought I needed a, a second pair that isn't, they start to get frayed and fuzzy. These are nice. I just put them on. <laughs> I just took them out of the package. <laughs> they also feel better because they're tighter. This, I'm wearing an extra large. Yeah, I'm wearing the extra large and, oh no, I'm sorry, they don't come in extra large. I'm wearing a large, they don't come in extra large, just large, I'm wearing a large. And mostly my, hand, my wrists and hands are still swollen. So I have to have a large, otherwise uh, if I wore a medium, they'd be, you know, probably cut off the blood to my fingers because uh, they're, they're pretty firm. All right, last thing, be sure you got your calendar because you're going to tell me your favorite, your favorite tool that you're using. Plus I have a spool. I have a spool. I have a spool. There we go. Look at this. I, I decided on the strawberries since we had yesterday, of course it's not today, but it was yesterday was the fruit, summer fruits for the going on a picnic. So I thought strawberries would be good. So that means I have this red one and the blue one. Oops. There we go. See like this. Here, let me actually do it like this. There, I don't have to stick my arm up in the air. Okay, so I have those three. So now I'm thinking, do I want them all reds and blues and kind of peachy pinks? Maybe that would just keep all the colors the same. Now I'm thinking so, but like not navy. But see what else I can find in sort of this blue periwinkle blue, um, because I don't. I'm rather than doing chaotic, you know, I wouldn't say chaotic, but rather than doing colors all over the place, I might keep the colors tighter. Oh, plus. Vicki suggested on the YouTube comments that the book 
uh, holder would be fabulous for the design board. So these are the design boards, which actually come, they come a whole bunch of different sizes. You know, I have, I have some big ones that come out to here. They're the 12 inch size. But this is actually perfect because I can even lay it back lower if I want. Uh, and I could have the whole big board out here and I could, you know, because this is felt or um, like batting kind of stuff. But yes, I know you can make these, but I do not want to spend my time fiddling around making these. And these are so well done and they hold up really well. So I will link you to where you can get the design boards. All right. <laughs> I went on and on and on, didn't I? <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being here. This is a fun chat and I uh, have all the links below. So I love you, my friends. I love you so much. Thank you for all of the wonderful gifts uh, and the cards and the thoughts and the comments and the beautiful, beautiful notes that you put in them. Greg and I read them all. Uh, we love you. Mwah. I will see you online.